All right, in our last lecture recording, we went over how to do a seasonal index. Uh, we walked through a distributor uh, uh, for Sony laptop computers and just wanted to show you how quickly and easily we could do this together in Microsoft Excel, uh, creating a seasonal forecast going forward for uh, the next year. So we have years, uh, three years worth of data um, and we have monthly data, so we can very easily calculate out our monthly forecast for every, for every month uh, in the upcoming year using a seasonal index. So we're going to do this together. I'm going to go through it pretty fast. If you'd like to rewatch it again, you can, but I want to show you how quickly and easily we can do this in Microsoft Excel. So our first step is just to take the average of the three years January data. Okay, so now we have our average for the last three years worth of data. Now we're going to take the sum of that, and that gets us to 1,128. Our monthly average is just 1,128 divided by 12. Once again, I'm using dollar signs. Oh, you can't see my formula, but I'm using dollar sign in front of the F and a dollar sign in front of the 17. That freezes this frame at F17. My seasonal index is simply just 90 divided by 94. That gives me my seasonal index for every single month. In the example that we walked through together, I stated that next year's sales would be 1,150. So all you do is take 1,150 divided by 12. That gives you your average monthly um, usage of 96. So you're going to have an average of 96. You can see that in this example, um, your average monthly for the three years prior was 94. Now you've increased it slightly to 96. That's because your demand has gone from 1,128 to 1,150. And so for next year, if we want to forecast January, we simply take 96 multiplied by our seasonal index. And for next year, our forecast for January is 92. I can very easily figure out my monthly forecast for any month going forward. So for July, it's going to be 107. Uh, which is um, right in line with these averages and the higher demand uh, for the summertime. So you can see that it takes into consideration that seasonal index. So when I add all of these up together, that gets me at 1,150, which matches the 1,150, but it includes the seasonal variation. If I were to say we think that sales is going to increase even more and go to 1,200 uh, units for the entire year, if you've got your formulas working correctly, that's now 100 per month, and that automatically updated my monthly forecast for that fourth year. So that's how quickly we can do a seasonal index in Microsoft Excel. We did it together in three minutes. We had good data for the previous three years, and we were able to make a very uh, intellectual good forecast using seasonal indexes for our fourth year.